Yazidis who survived the 2014 genocide, especially women, know we have to tell our stories in order to raise international awareness of the atrocities committed against our community. As you know, in the summer of 2014, ISIS invaded Sinjar and began a systematic campaign of ethnic cleansing against the Yazidi community. This genocidal campaign included mass killings, forced conversion, and widespread sexual violence against women of all ages. These attacks resulted in the massacre of thousands of members of the Yazidi community, the enslavement of more than 6,000 Yazidis, and the displacement of over 400,000 Yazidi to IDP camps. As someone who has been traveling the world, trying to impact change for my people and for female survivors, it is painful for me to see the suffering that continues. My community continues to face an ongoing genocide. Why do I say on ongoing genocide? It is on ongoing because nearly 350,000 Yazidis are still stranded in IDP camps in Kurdistan. Over 3,000 Yazidi women and children remain missing. Women and children who managed to escape ISIS do not have access to social support, healthcare, or safe shelter. The lack of action is a different tactic, but the results are the same. The Yazidi community has been unable to heal while there is some support and empathy for the Yazidi cause international commitment to address the issues with genocide and enable my community to return to our homeland of Sinjar and rebuild our lives in a safe, healthy environment are not present. The SD community wants to return home. They want to start over, to rebuild their homes and farms and to create new lives with their families. They want justice for the trauma they have suffered. However, they cannot achieve this without the support and partnership of the international community. We all hoped that the fall of ISIS in Iraq would be a new beginning for the country to start over, similar to the fall of Berlin War. The fall of ISIS in Iraq should have been an opportunity to bring this country together. But today, the future of millions in Iraq remains unknown. The people of Iraq deserve to live with dignity. After years of conflict and brutal attacks on Yazidis, the community expected the Iraqi government to provide support to enable the community to heal. In the state, the community remains displaced. Those who have returned fear the uncertainty of their situation. This week, Turkey bombed villages in Sinjar where families have returned. There should be no place for armed groups and armed conflict in civilian villages. We have asked the government of Iraq and the international community repeatedly to resolve the political and security issues over the past few years. More needs to be done, and it is up to the international community to rally their voices behind the Yazidi case and fight, as I have to effect real change. Thank you so much.